it's supposed to rain today. Uh, not till this afternoon and evening I seen, but I heard there was uh, hail and uh, out west, and the corn was just flat. Now I hope that don't happen to us, but that's why there's crop insurance. So we will see what what comes of it. Hopefully we don't <clears throat> get the hail that they're talking about. That could be damaging. Now tell me that ain't strange. It's sleeping on top of the mother. That's kinda kinda interesting. So I didn't get no hay wrapped last. Well, yes, I did. You guys see, I wrapped what? Four, almost five bales. But it's getting dark over that way. And I'm just gonna put the loader in that building there because uh, we'll need it again to wrap these bales. Um, so this was the bale I was fighting with. See us leave it on the ground. I'll bring you back once we get the loader inside and figure out what we're doing today. Definitely too windy to uh, try and wrap hay again by myself. Definitely too windy. So it's the next day. I'm here wrapping bales again by myself. I got me a Gatorade and a loader beside me. Very, very seldom anymore will I drink a can of pop. I mean, now, if we, ouch, if we go somewhere and, uh, you know, to a restaurant and it's been a while, like a month, yeah, I'll treat myself to a can of pop, but I got so much more energy drinking Gatorade, sweet tea, iced tea, and water, milk. So I hope that helps alleviate a little bit of my problem. Uh, only just keep the one door open to go in and out of. Um, I tell you what, these bottoms, these bottoms are not fun to get on. Uh, if you guys know what I mean. like that then you gotta be prepared for when they decide they want to roll backwards on you from the wind Let's see Three, four, five. Twenty-eight bales left I'll say one thing right now. Used sleeves suck. Especially when you're trying to do this job by yourself. They just suck. Because they get holes in them, they get thin. They're not brand new. But we at least got to try.
anybody explain this big bulge right here to me i don't know whether the baler goofed up or when we we're moving bales i don't know but it's got to be wrapped we can't let it can't let it like this it's unacceptable I ain't a quitter. I'll figure out how to do stuff. It's just not, it's just not the way that dad says to do it. Sometimes my way works, sometimes it don't. I'm gonna set you guys up here and I hope you'll be able to see what I'm, how I do this job. Um, it's not as easy as everybody thinks it is. So I'm going to set you up right there. I'm going to show you. Little bit of exercise involved crawling in and out of the loader, but it don't matter, it don't hurt nothing. I also feel that it's important to take like a five, 10 minute break. Um, just to kind of regroup, get your bearings again, and, and then go at it again. Until it rains. Oh boy. Feels great.
what the heck are we doing with the loader up in the air like that? We never leave loaders up, in, loader arms up in the air. That's a trip hazard or a danger hazard. Trip hazard. Well, since I got no good way of rolling out this plastic, I figured that I'm going to use the 6120 hoist the plastic up here so that way I can see the perforated line better which is right there and then and then tear it across just like you know what I'll put you guys up here and you can watch me tear this stuff off for a minute or, or three gotta be quick about it before it unrolls it pulls the whole roll off should be right I should have tipped the fork back a little bit. I'm not seeing that perforated line. There. Right behind the side. I think you guys get the hang of how this thing works. So, we'll bring you back in a little bit, guys. Now, you guys are probably asking yourselves, why did he handle that stuff a thousand times in a day? Well, there's, there's, um, madness in my thinking I want to be able to get to that back row back there I'm going to start with them four bales I'm going to put these two three that are wrapped to my right over back there and then the ones that are right out the window here I'm going to finish out that row and then start another row so that's what my mad my plan is. Now I get to go see if we got another ball of uh, plastic so I can finish out. Anywho, it took me four hours to get to this point. So I'm making headway, just not very efficient. You know, I better, I better put this loader down uh, before somebody gets hurt. Cause I can just see somebody walking out here and getting, getting harpooned. By that thing um, and it wouldn't it wouldn't end well well so we're all done for the day uh, we done right now of plastic so we'll put the loader away 
Our first, take that bale, get that bale out of here. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel good that I did something today. Help dad out a little bit. Um, yeah, if you guys want, go check out, uh, or you know what, no. I meant to do that from Facebook, darn it. Well, hope you guys enjoy. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.